In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, I go really old school. The original tools of pen and paper to inspire literacy. Now, a Brighton husband and wife writer illustrator team won the Michigan Reading Association's top honor. We emailed them and we get a letter back saying we're nominated and we wrote back and we're like nominated. How we didn't even know we're in the running and what does this mean? And she wrote back saying, I mean, you won. Right. So it was kind of like, hello, that's kind of crazy. Meet the Breggies, Darren and Karen. Laughter and literacy is kind of our thing. This husband and wife team have written stories as a couple for years. We have a series of two series for fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. We have another series, Ghost Board Posse, Scary, Skateboarding Ghost Hunters, and then we have uh, Monsters First Day at School. Picture books is our forte with Darren's beautiful art, and we put humor in it. Karen and Darren met doing improv, and their humor shines through when they perform their stories. Okay, I do Boris, she do Natasha. I do Natasha. You know, I did Homer. I didn't mind. So that's where it started, Humphreys. We did voices together. That's what made it work. And their work, their passion, has earned them the 2021 Gwen Frostick Award. We can't tell you how good that feels to just do what you do, love what you do, and then get an award like that for yeah. it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Overwhelming. Yeah. Put us over the moon. The award from the Michigan Reading Association honors authors who strongly influence reading in any dimension, while the Breggies make an impact with students by writing and performing. We talk about drawing, we talk about writing, inspire them, and then we hit them with some comedy at the end and get the little ones laughing and have a blast. We wrap up our show with improv, so they're laughing so hard that they're like, wait, we learned about art, learned about reading and writing, and we laughed, so we really like that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and that was before the coronavirus. So everything just kind of shut right down after that. Yeah. Their last performance was March 10th, 2020. I think we made an impact with the fun and the humor and the energy. And we brought that to every every school and any place we'd visit. And I think that kind of resonated through the COVID. So did their continuing book sales. Then the news of their award. Getting this award for 2021 really revitalized us because we were like, okay, we're still in people's minds, even though we had been removed from the schools for a year. As their appearance schedule fills up again, all they are is grateful. Whoever nominated us or, or put, put themselves out there for us, thank you so much. You. We're, we don't know who, but we really appreciate it. And for parents, thank you. Because if they get them reading little, they'll be so successful in their lives. It's just such an important, important thing. And this story was inspired by another Tech Time with Andrew Humphrey story. Their son, Mick, is heavily into augmented and virtual reality. Well, the Breggies are really looking forward to what the summer has to offer and getting back into those schools as early as this school year. And the schedule is already filling up. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. You know what I'm most impressed by? How did you get a question in without laughing? <laughs> <laughs> we edited that out, but aren't they absolutely <laughs> wonderful? They're absolutely so adorable, great. right? Fantastic. Absolutely. And so inspirational. Oh, what yeah. a great story, Andrew. Thanks. We're just looking to add him off camera there, but wow. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to get a question in without laughing. No, me either. And also how they, they weave in the learning about art yeah. and writing into their stories, too. It's just so great. For sure. And it's getting kids to read. Yes. It's a win-win. A much-deserved award.